everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Falsebound Kingdom for the Nintendo GameCube, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now, I'm pretty sure you've all heard of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Falsebound Kingdom, at least through my channel, because it's been in countless subscriber specials and other things like that, but just never winning. And after being on there for so long, one of my fans asked me, like, dude, you've had it on there for so long, why don't you just let's play the game right now? And you know what, I'm gonna do just that. I will be doing all the campaigns, and I will be trying to, you know, get all the monsters. I'm just gonna turn that down a little bit. Now, you've seen me do a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays. Well, this is not really a traditional Yu-Gi-Oh! game. It is based on the series, however, it's not a traditional card game. This is more like a real-time strategy RPG. So, you can choose between Yugi and Kaiba. There is another campaign, but more on that later. That you actually have to complete both campaigns to unlock. I'm gonna play as Yugi first, because that's traditionally what I do. I will be playing as Kaiba after this, I promise. Alright, so, don't expect me to have videos up of this every day, because each episode can be a bit lengthy. Those who claim to control the gods are in fact controlled by the gods. Alexander Irvine, philosopher. Like, the levels can be quite lengthy if you're trying to take your time and, you know, just make sure that your generals or well, monsters are leveled up. You're going to find out what I mean soon enough. Well, this must be the lab mentioned in that letter you got. Sick Domino Labs. Yeah, this looks like the place. It's pretty far from the city. There's nothing else here. Doesn't the building look futuristic? Sick is a famous overseas game company, isn't it? It's a new game company that just started here in Japan, but it's already becoming a major player. Although it's relatively new, it's gotten pretty big by releasing a bunch of innovative games. They've been using 3D images and virtual reality research to create some amazingly lifelike environments. It sounds a lot like what Kaiba's company does. According to this invitation, they're doing exactly the same kind of work as Kaiba Corporation. And they actually haven't been sued for patent infringement. SICK has incorporated cutting-edge technologies to develop next-generation virtual reality technology. SICK hopes to work in the field of games to perfect this technology using the widely popular Duel Monsters. SICK plans to further develop the technology through gameplay. Their technological goals may be scientific, but if they're using Duel Monsters, I want to get a look at it. Me too! This is so exciting! But why did they send invitations to us? I think they sent invitations to everyone that ranked well at the Duelist Kingdom and Battle City tournaments. Yep, then why is Taya there? She did terrible! I mean, she only won that one duel because Mai surrendered. Out of, you know, pity. In order to test a new Duel Simulator Kingdom, Sick is sponsoring a test trial and respectively ask for your assistance in helping us make Kingdom the best game it can be. It also says to bring friends if you want. Naturally, I thought of you guys right away. Oh, that explains why Taya showed up. Just so we're all clear, I'm here because I did so well in the tournaments. Oh yeah? Then where's your invitation? They must have sent it to the wrong address. Yeah, sure. At least we know that Yugi is here as a finalist. That's it! Come on, Tristan! I'll take you, right here and now! Stop it, both of you! This is no time to fight! Look, there's someone from the lab waiting for us! Let's get going! You must be Yukimoto! We've been waiting for you! Uh-huh! That's me! And these are my friends! Wonderful! Let's all go inside, shall we? In case you're wondering, yeah, that's supposed to happen. Why does it all fade to darkness for so long? Hey, Yugi, didn't we see this guy at Kaiba Corp once? I think so, but all of the people of Kaiba Corp give off the same kind of weird vibe. You are correct. I did work for Kaiba Corp. Jeez, he heard us. We're almost at the main lab. What in the world is... Um, I'm pretty sure that's a dual disc. This is Six's latest simulator. Codename Kingdom. This is just a prototype. We're only using the dual disc for packaging reasons. 
It's all original sick hardware on the inside. Is this what you used to recreate the world of Duel Monsters? Yes, our tests of Kingdom have been very successful so far. We've constructed an entire fantasy world based on Duel Monsters. We'd like you to help us test the simulator by simply playing the game as you normally would. The simulator supports multiple players, so you will all be able to play at the same time. In multiplayer mode, everyone joins the game as a different game character. It sounds like a network game or something. These new games are so awesome! Yeah, wait till you get to today when they're so awesome they win so many awards but the campaigns are like five hours. Kingdom is a fantasy world. The card monsters there are alive. We will all join the resistance and fight against the Empire, which is suppressing the general population. Remember, kingdoms are good, empires are bad. Even in simulations. Of course, the allowed participating in the game is different characters. The game is currently set for a few hours, and we'll be recording your play data from here. Cool! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's play! Yeah! This is so exciting! I wonder what it'll be like! Yuki, does this seem on the level to you? Huh? What do you mean? This whole simulator seems suspicious. You're probably just overreacting. Ah, it's about to start! After 300 years of ruling the Rondeval continent, the Sigvarts Empire is faced with a crisis. Since the 12th Emperor Haishin ascended to the throne, corruption and brutality has spread through the... Empire! Yeah, I couldn't squeeze that all in one line of dialogue. The people suffer oppression, but their complaints have fallen on deaf ears. Haishin and a select group of his underlings have been living in the lap of luxury. Their lavish lifestyle is supported by heavy taxation, which has pushed most of the populace to the brink. People on the fringes of the Empire have responded with rebellion and revolt. This uprising has extended as far as the northern part of the Empire on Vaxi Island. What's the matter? I don't know, but I've got a really bad feeling about this. Kingdom Simulator Overload. Safety Lock Engage. Beginning Transition to Mode 2. Transition to Mode 2 complete. Kingdom Simulator Lock in Mode activated. What's happening? Wah! Oh, we got trapped in a game, just like Reboot. Ki Yugi! Happened? Lord Yugi! Lord Yugi, wake up! Please! Lord Yugi! Ugh. Oh, my head. You seem to be coming out of it. Where am I? Huh? You're in the port city of Makad, on the western edge of Vaxi Island. You lost consciousness suddenly. You just passed out, right in the middle of our meeting. Don't you remember? Well, it was so boring, guys. Jeez. Remember what? You appear to be suffering from memory loss. Let me explain everything as quickly as I can. Your name is Yuki. You're the leader of the resistance here in Makad. We were planning our next attack when you passed out. We tricked the Imperial forces into splitting up, and Etos, the ruler of these lands, is left with few guards. It was the perfect chance for us to break the Emperor's repressive hold, and we're just about ready to attack. Is... is any of this coming back to you? Anything at all? No, none of it. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. But it sounds like I'm expected to take command of the resistance. That is correct, Lord Yugi. You are, after all, Supreme Commander of the Resistance. Without you, we don't even have enough Marshals. You must lead on the front lines. Marshal? Oh dear, have you forgotten everything? Marshals are a type of general and are central to a battle. Marshals can control monsters and engage in battle by pitting their monsters against those of the enemy. Each monster has incredible power. Power equal to that of several thousand human soldiers. This is why the marshals hold the key to victory in any battle. However, the number of men with this power over monsters is small. Including you, the resistance has but three. So you're telling me that I have this special marshal ability? You have it in spades, sir. Although I'm afraid that your powers might be weaker in your current state. You will just have to get it back slowly in battle. In the beginning, I will res assist your recovery, Lord Yugi. 
Remember that Imperial units usually have a marshal assigned to them as well. You will need to get your battle instincts back if you're going to defeat the Imperial Marshals. For the time being, we need to finish planning our strategy and organize our units. Come this way! Well, this is a fine mess we're in. I know! It doesn't feel like we have any control over the game! I think it's safe to assume that we're trapped in this fantasy game world. They must have been planning on us, on using us as their lab rats from the beginning. I wonder if the rest of our friends are here too. It's likely. They're probably all just as confused by whatever character roles they've been thrown into as well. We've got to find a way out here. I don't know how much of what the sick techies told us is true, but they did say that this is a game. Uh-huh. Then it's got to have an ending, right? Maybe we play the game and clear all the levels. It'll lead to a way out. That makes sense. With help from the rest of our friends, we're sure to find a way home. That seems to be our best bet for now. Please look carefully at the map of Rondeval. This is Makad, where we are right now. Okay, all the way to the very left. And this is the target of our next battle. We're going to liberate the rest of Vaxi Island. In order to do that, we've got to take control of Sugot, the provincial capital to the east. It's all the way over there. I see. Sugot is a large castle in the northern section. It's well defended and houses a large fighting force. We won't stand a chance if we attack head on. First, we've got to get them to divide up their force. We should be able to lure some units away from the capital by liberating nearby lands, places like Etos Makad. We've already managed to thin out the defenses of Makad. Let's attack in force and take our first victory. Okay, what should I do? You will direct your marshals on the field of battle and attack the enemy main base, Lord Yugi. I'm certainly not as strong as you, but I will also command a team of monsters and assist you. Just remember that then none of your other marshals are nearly as powerful as you are. I'm pretty sure they meant Remember that none of your other marshals are nearly as powerful as you are. We heavily depend on you, or depend heavily on you, doesn't matter. Your success on the battlefield is the key to the success of the resistance. There are many other details to plan. Let's start with organizing our units for the difficult battle ahead. What do you mean by organizing? As you may remember, I mentioned a little while ago that the enemy army has its own marshals. Only a marshal commanding his own monsters stand any chance against an enemy marshal. No matter how weak a marshal may be, he can command up to three monsters. We're fighting an enormous empire. The number and power of its monster units are just as frighteningly enormous. We must organize our own monsters into units so that we can combat the enemy. Luckily for us, we have several monsters that are willing to fight for our cause. The first thing you need to do is organize the monsters into groups and then assign them to your marshals. Each group of monsters is called a team. Please try to remember that, Lord Yugi. Let's start assembling our teams, shall we? After the teams are assembled, it's time to send them to battle. When you are ready, please let me know. Also, pay special attention to the center monster on each team. This monster is the team leader, and the team's movement speed is determined by the speed of its leader. I understand. I'll start by assembling my teams. Alright, so now we finally get some control of the game, and for some reason, in the upper right, it's spelled M-A-R-C-H-A-L. It's not Marshall Select. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so you can press X over there to mark whatever Marshall you want to go. Anything that's in red is mandatory, and anything in white is optional. Fistus is probably a character exclusive to the game. Maybe she's in Forbidden Memories. I never played that game. Obviously, no marshals have any experience whatsoever, but apparently any monsters under Yugi's side get an extra attack bonus because his battle power is at 2, everyone else is at 1, and oh, Yugi also gets some more action points. So that's actually pretty cool. Alright, so Celtic Guardian is going to be my leader, Feral Imp is on the left, and Karibo over to the right. And you can go to your items over there, which of course we don't have any. You don't run into a shop until you actually get in the battle, so to speak. Alright, and you can go to your list of monsters over there. You can sort them in any order you want. 
which of course we only have like nine monsters. You can use the analog stick, just go to the next page, or use the uh, control pad to get over to where you need to go. So, well, obviously we only have nine monsters, we will be getting more later. However, it's just going to have to happen in battle. Alright, so right now Feral Lamp will get two action points, that's the stars over there. Its HP is at 800, 1300 attack power, 1400 defense, and you need like 58 gold to actually bring them in. Yes, you also have currency to worry about. The stronger the monster, the more you have to pay to bring them on. Karibo is obviously very weak, so we don't have to worry about that. Some monsters will also have their abilities, more on that later. Now let me go to info over here. Okay, you just press L and R. Knight Adept means that you get like more attacks, defense, speed, and action points in the night time, which is actually pretty good. Feral Imp and Karibo have that ability so Yugi will fight better at night. So that's actually pretty good. Fizdis has the ability Discount, meaning that if she's going to buy items for you, she can get them at a reduced price. Kanekabuto is Water Adept, Water Adept, meaning that he'll get more bonuses when in water. Horn Imp, of course, is Knight, and Penguin Soldier has no abilities whatsoever. As for Shimon, or Simon, as he can also be called, he has Zombie Warrior, Shadow Spectre, and Beaver Warrior. Both of these are very good at night, while Beaver Warrior is good in the forest. So, as we, like, get more levels in battle, not only will your monsters gain levels, but so will your marshals, they will actually get stronger. So be sure to keep that in mind. This is going to be a long video, I do apologize, because we're actually going to have our first mission, and there was a pretty long intro. You can see Time Wizard there as a loading screen, that's pretty cool. The Resistance is about to engage in its first battle. Let us take the victory this day. As you can see, there are four villages, including the enemy main base at Makad and the base of Jakud. Thanks to our earlier planning, the main enemy force is much smaller than it was, was and is not massed nearby. The ruler Etos has no idea that we're ready to attack. Let's take this chance to secure a position in the area. First, send someone to free the village of Rutham. It's not very far from Jakud. The village is filled with supporters of the resistance. It will be a good foothold from where we can attack. As we free the nearby villages from oppressive imperial rule, they will offer us items and money. We need both these things to help build up our force, so we should try to free as many places as possible. Currently, all of our teams are hold holding position in Jakud. Let's select teams to send into battle from Jakud and send them to the village of Rutham. To send a team into battle, position the cursor over the town the team is in and press the A button. Then select a command for the team to carry out. Finally, move the cursor to the location, blah blah blah, and press the A button, this dispatches the team. Okay, it's time to go to battle. Okay, so here are your win conditions. You gotta free Makad, which is to the far right, and if Yugi's team is defeated, or Jack Hood falls to the enemy, we lose. Alright, so I'm gonna send Yugi over here to this village. And I'm gonna send Shimon over here to this neutral village over there as well. I'm gonna keep Fizdis over here, because if you do buy items, you can actually get them for a discount. However, we don't really have a merchant yet. Once we do, Fizdis can go to those particular towns and buy items at reduced prices. You can press Y to take a look at the town. Okay, Fedon's its name. Seems pretty neat. Alright. And Rotham is the same thing. Lots of agriculture there, even though it's not really going to be a factor. But it could be. Who knows? Okay, we liberated Phaedon. We get 500 gold for that. That's awesome. Eventually, the enemy forces will come to us as well. These are your enemies that you have to deal with. Etos is the commander, and he has basic insect, blackland fire dragon, and swordsman from a foreign land. And we get another 500 gold as well, which is pretty nice. Now let's go back to 3D mode. Alright, so it doesn't look like they're going to be doing anything. I half expected the enemies to finally make a move. Well, Etos is just going to stay here in the camp because he's the commander. 
Other than that, well, we'll just have to wait for that one soldier. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna send Yugi out into this forest over here. Certain maps will actually have, like, random encounters, well, set on a specific place, so it's not really a random encounter, where you're gonna find a monster to battle. Sometimes you'll find only one, some cases you'll find a team of three. You have one chance to defeat these monsters, and if you win, they will join your side once you finish the map. Which is actually pretty cool, because, well, obviously our forces are pretty stretched thin. So, once we go to the spot in the forest right here, you're gonna find Silver Fang. So, we gotta fight it! Alright, so let's go over the battle system while we can, because it's gonna, obviously gonna be our first battle. You can press A to attack, you can press Y for info on your monsters, you can press Y to go to the enemy forces, if you want to. Okay, so in the field, Silver Fang's actually pretty good, and has 750 HP. Alright, you can use defense if you want to block the next attack, and if you don't want to attack yet, you can press B, and it will not cost you any action points. Alright, let's see if we can defeat this Silver Fang right now. Hopefully we can. I'm not going to worry about being attacked so much, because you can go into villages to recover your health anyway. I'm going to let Karibo attack, even though it's going to be pretty weak. I'm pretty much just going to blitz Silver Fang, because Yugi needs the experience. If anything, Celtic Guardian is going to be my unsung hero, because he's the commander. Okay, obviously things are going really well. We're going to have plenty of turns to defeat this guy. And if you run out of turns, like, basically it goes by who did better in battle to determine a winner. But in this case, obviously, I want to bring this guy's HP to zero. Okay, he's guarding, and he's got one action point left. So you know what? I'm actually just going to put everybody on wait until he uses his next action. Because if I attacked him while he was guarding, i do less damage. So it is a good idea to wait and just let your enemies do all their moves so you can have the advantage. Also, sometimes whenever your monsters level up, they will actually get new attacks. Uh, well, maybe they get new attacks. I, it's been a while since I played this game. Okay, Celtic Guardian needs to do at least 132 damage to win. Hopefully he doesn't miss. Good, he didn't miss. Oh, just by five points. Alright, so your monsters and your marshals do get experience when you win a battle. Sometimes you do when you lose a battle as well, as long as you're still alive, you just won't gain as much. Okay, I'm gonna send you guys back to the village, because it's not protected. It's very strange that the enemy hasn't even made a movement yet, and Yuki does need to recover his health. Uh, if only we could do some shopping, but we can't. And don't worry about those other options over there, like, you know, like, equipment, replenish, trader, healing. Because once you get to, like, more towns, you'll have more of those options to work with. Like, such as building defenses for your bases, which would be pretty nice. Alright, so I'm gonna leave Yugi over there to recover his health. And he does recover gradually. So as you can see, we'll just go over here. Yeah, he's, he's recovering pretty slowly, however, every little bit helps. So we'll just take our time here. I guess I could, like, send, like, two marshals at once to try to attack the enemy base. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm gonna set up a little pincer attack. So I'm gonna let Shyman's Force attack over here. Okay, I got them both moving, good. You can use this in 3D mode or icon mode, whatever works for you. I find it very strange that the enemy hasn't even moved out of the base yet. Usually they do. And when you defeat a marshal, they're not gone for good. After a while, they will return to the camp 
but they're going to be at half health. So it's always a good idea to defeat as many marshals as you can, and you can stay in a battle for very long just for the sake of grinding. Also, the Konami code works well here. Sometimes my analog stick is a bit finicky, or D-pad. Like, for some reason, it doesn't always work the way I want it to. So, I'm just gonna leave my guys here. If I get the Konami code to work, I get money. And I'm pretty sure you had to use the D-pad. For some reason, my D-pad is not the best when it comes to the Konami code. I don't know why that is. I'm guessing the game that's just the game's way of saying no, don't cheat this. But I only want to show it off at least once. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna work. But I'm a stubborn guy, so I'm gonna keep trying. You'll know it works when you actually hear some guy say Yu-Gi-Oh! And then you get an extra 500 gold instantly. Why is this so stubborn? I don't know why that is. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna work all that well, so I'm just gonna go for the attack. Like, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Alright, there's the enemy base. You cannot defeat an enemy in its main base, a town or castle, simply by fighting better than them. You must force the enemy to flee or defeat all the enemy's monsters in order to win. It is difficult to defeat an enemy in their stronghold unless you surround them and attack in waves. Be careful not to chase your enemy too far. They might be leading you into a trap. Now let's go get the enemy. Alright, so unfortunately I will have to deal with this officer inside its stronghold, so it gets a little bit of a defensive advantage. Uh, I don't really feel comfortable Karibo attacking, so I'm just going to have it on wait command for now. Alright, so we got, I believe that's a Needle Worm. And we got Hitotsumi Giant and Zaragun. Okay, Hitotsumi Giant is guarding. No, it's a larvae moth. Never mind, I got the name wrong. Needleworm is actually pink, I remember. I've used that card a fair bit in my Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays. It's so powerful! And I've often had it used against me! Apparently, cocoons are acidic. <laughs> what I like to do is just go for the weakest monsters so that they'll have less monsters to work with. Ooh, got a critical. Nice going. And Zaragun's attack has Club Scissors, which can also be the name of a lesbian bar. Who knows? Eh, I think we're gonna have Feral Imp wait. I want Kerth to guard and get the finishing blow on this guy. Don't worry, I will be using my other marshals as well, because it's always a good idea to have them balanced. Especially when it comes to certain situations where they might be attacked instead of your best guy. Alright, so far so good. Celtic Guardian has taken a beating. So that's something I gotta worry about. Okay, there we go. Now, let's see. I think I should go for Zaragon next. That's the only one still able to attack. It's got one action point left. Oh, that's a miss. You can tell it's a miss when the uh, monster doesn't flinch at all. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, so it's probably going to block anyway. And I lost. So I still leveled up, which is pretty nice. And if you lose, you're stunned for a few seconds, and then, well, you've got to wait a while before you can move again. So I'm going to let my other team get some action in. Alright, obviously the uh, larvae moth cannot recover. 
which is pretty nice. Alright, Shadow Spectre is going to be a weak monster, so you might as well just get an attack in. If this was at night, I would have a much better advantage, but since it's the day, I have to rely on base strength. But that'll be fine with me. Alright, so, we pretty much got this in the bag. Zaragon is close to being defeated. And Hitotsumi Giant only has, like, one move left anyway. Eh, I don't want you to attack. Like, you're gonna have to, like, rely on strategy rather than just brute force all the time. Because later on, the battles definitely get harder. But at least even if you were to, say, lose a map, the experience will carry over. Which is pretty nice. Just when you feel like you're getting your ass kicked all the time, then the next few tries could get a little bit better for you. Just make sure you have enough money you can afford to bring those troops into battle. Otherwise, well, you can't. Then you have to rely on slightly weaker monsters. Okay, that officer is almost defeated. I say Yugi will get the last licks in. Oh, and I managed to win, which is nice. No level ups, unfortunately. But that's okay. Because uh, Shyman was the one to win, he's not going to get stunned. So I might as well let him get the win. Alright, so what should I do? Should I allow Yugi to rest? It may not be such a bad idea. I'm going to find myself in a bad spot if I send him out there. So that's pretty much what I'm going to have to do. Let Shyman get some blows in. Maybe Fizdis can, like, leave the camp and go and fight. That's an option as well. Just remember that if Yugi is defeated, you lose. If any of your other uh, marshals are defeated, then they're just sent to the main camp after a period of time at reduced strength. Well, reduced health, rather. So, I can kind of see this game very similar to, like, say, Battle Ogre 64, Persons of Lordly Caliber. Oh, managed to get a level up. That's great. Alright, so... No, no. I don't want you going in and attacking. I want you to head back to one of these villages. You insolent runt! Just who do you think you are? Your guards! Where are my guards? You're the only one left. Get ready for the end. Wah! Traitors! How dare you revolt against the Empire? I'll take some of you with me before I'm done. So you're, you're saying you're gonna lose. Usually that's something you say when you know you're about to be defeated. Okay, I know you're about to be defeated too. But obviously this is not gonna get, get any easier. Well, it looks like they're targeting my zombie warrior. That is the name of it, right? Yeah, it's zombie warrior. Sometimes I get the names mixed up. Okay, I'm gonna go for this guy, because he's the weakest. Okay, the real threat of this battle is that Blackland Fire Dragon. Because it can do a nice bit of damage. Oh, I say zombie warrior's down. Yep, it's down. This could be pretty tough to recover from. But if anything, we can take like one of its monsters down with us, that'd be great. Obviously I'm not going to employ too much strategy because, well, this was a super lengthy video and it's almost fatigued me. And also we have very little options of what we can do with our monsters anyway. This is a basic map. Later on, it's going to get a little bit more intricate. See, we have my zombie warriors out. I had like two or three moves left. Three moves left. I could have done a nice bit of damage. But I guess we're going to have to rely on our two living monsters now. Ah! 
Okay, good. Now it's two on two. Eh, we didn't get the win, but I expected as much. Oh yeah, and if your monster is defeated, it doesn't gain any experience. Alright, I'm gonna send you back. It's gonna be in my best interest. Let me allow Fizdis to actually get some action. Alright, so I think that's gonna be a good idea to allow my main unit to recover. Okay, I'm back. I apologize for that. Apparently, technology doesn't like me this day. Yeah, I'm still trying the Konami code, like, as we speak right now. Because if I get it to work once, it would be great. Yeah, it doesn't. S it seems very finicky on this controller, so I guess I'm not cheating for money. <laughs> sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, I can't cheat. Alright, so let Fizdiz get some action in. Alright, so. I think I should go after the basic insect next. So, obviously, we're not gonna get a lot of damage in, except for the Horn Imp. However, every little bit helps. So we're just gonna blitz this guy with everything we got. Who knows, she might actually win it for me. If we're lucky, at least. Though I'd still prefer Yugi to get, like, most of the experience, because he is the main commander, after all. But, you know, I'll take whatever I can. Alright, basic insect all is almost defeated. Luckily, Blackland Fire Dragon used its turn to guard, and I wasn't even attacking it anyway. So now it has no more turns. So that'll make things a little bit easier for us. And don't worry, we will be getting more marshals later, and we're going to actually be battling more marshals. So, as, as I said before, the next few battles can be a bit more intricate and tougher. But that's what makes the game fun. You got to employ a little bit of strategy and who's gonna be on your team as well as where you're gonna put them. There's always those little things you have to pay attention to. Especially when it comes to selecting who's gonna be your team leader. Because if you send in a big bulky monster, they're gonna move a little bit slower even though their radius will be much wider. Alright, Blackland Fire Dragon is almost defeated. And again, we don't level up, that's okay. Pretty soon we'll be going to the points where if you're very far in the game, you're gonna level up it after each battle anyway. Alright, I'm gonna send Fizdis back here. And Yugi, have you recovered enough? Eh, Celtic Guardian is still a little worse for wear, but there's only one monster left. So I think we're good with that. And in case you're wondering, it's like the Konami code with the D-pad, not the analog stick. Maybe it's not possible to actually enter on the first stage, but I've seen it done before. Oh, this is going to be annoying that I can't get free money. But what can you do? It's, it's just this controller, like the uh, Biogenic, I think that's the brand? I use it because it's actually a longer cord, so I don't really have to sit in a different spot when I'm actually doing GameCube games, which is pretty nice. It's basically what it's for, like a longer cord. And it actually does play very well. 
It's just that when it comes to the D-pad, it's a little finicky. Alright, let's put everybody on weight command and it's going to use its next move. Good. Now it doesn't have any defenses. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure the next few videos won't be as lengthy. Remember, we had the intro and our first map here as well. And I didn't really want the first video to only be intro, because that would have been a bit boring. Okay, I say like a few more attacks and we got this. I think I will be using all three attacks, so... Unless Karibo managed to get a critical, which of course he couldn't. Alright, Celtic Guardian, finish it off. Good! We just finished our first map. And you can get the win for us. Alright, Feral Imp is at level 2, so now he's even with the rest of us. And we liberated Makan and got 700 gold for it. A splendid first victory, Lord Yugi! Our actions here have stirred the people in these lands to fight back against the Empire. The noble families in the area are offering to assist us financially. If we continue to win like this, the resistance should grow nicely. The Empire is confused right now, but it's only temporary. They'll soon send units to hunt us down. Let's take this opportunity to secure our positions and fight off the enemy. Now, it's time for you to make an appearance, Lord Yugi. The people want to meet their savior. And we get Blackland Fire Dragon to join us automatically, which is great. Alright, so we got ourselves a nice slew of items. We got Monster Reborn and a couple blue medicines. Fury of the Empire. Yugi's Resistance Army decides to undertake its next mission before the Empire strikes back. <laughs> Little Star Wars reference. With Suga confused about what to do, too. But what do, too? What? The Resistance plans to free a large agricultural village in the south. Our success in freeing the Makad area has strengthened the determination of the Resistance. Let's strike the stores of the Imperial forces while morale is high. We can cut them off from their supplies. The southern part of the island is mostly farmland. The Empire works most of the farmers like slaves. If we can free this area, all supplies to Silgut will be cut off, and will gain a significant advantage. However, General Sebakal, one of the fiercest generals in the regular Imperial Army, appears to be in the area. Sebakal is a dangerous foe, well known for his ferocity. I don't believe he has a large force with him, but we should still be careful not to make any mistakes. That reminds me, I believe we received some items in our last engagement. You can use those items by equipping the monsters with them. Just remember that you can't change your mind once you send a monster into battle. When preparing for battle, think carefully about which item you give to which monster. Now be sure to keep that in mind. Also, remember these two are mandatory fizz this is optional. But I like to take her along for the discount ability. Alright, so... I'm going to take this opportunity to save the game, so in the next episode, we'll be taking on Fury of the Empire. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.